Hi guys, James at Rampant Lion Reviews again for you today with another beer review. For this one we are going to head over to Canada once again. We're going to revisit the Prince Edward Island province and we're having a taste of another beer from the PEI Brewing Company who you saw me review a couple of weeks back actually. A huge thank you again in this video to my colleague Alicia who very kindly brought me back a couple of PEI craft beers from her recent trip home. So huge thank you to her for that. It is cool to get a hold of these Canadian beers because as I've said many a time, Canadian beer is pretty much like gold dust to be quite honest with you. So for this one we are going to have a look at another one of the PEI Brewing Company's Gahan Handcrafted Ales range. This one is called the Sydney Street Oatmeal Stout. It comes in at 5.2% and uh, you know it should be quite interesting this one. I did enjoy the 1772 IPA that I had before. That was a really kind of straight up um, nice kind of craft beer this one so I'm very curious to see if this one is you know a kind of similar English style stout. So certainly looking forward Forward to this one and as always I hope you guys enjoy my take on this beer. So anyway as is usual with my reviews then I'll tell you a little bit about the brewery if you want to get straight to the tasting just fast forward all the usual links are in the description below that's the brewery website the link to my other reviews that I've done from PEI Brewing Company before and the Gahan beers range before no doubt I'll be able to add some more in the near future Alicia did promise me that she'd bring me over some other beers the next time she's home there's all the usual social media if you want to see more beer reviews do please consider subscribing to the channel the whole channel channel of course has a geography based tagging system so you can go into the home page and search for beers based on country, city, state, county, prefecture, whatever it is you're interested in. Do check out the playlist of beers from different countries, there is one there for all the Canadian beers that I've reviewed for you, that's constantly being added to and as always please do get in touch and let me know some of the other beers and breweries that you guys would like to see me review. It's always great to hear from you guys that are watching the videos and the support that you show the channel is hugely appreciated. So anyway, tell me a little bit about PEI Brewing Company then. So the PEI Brewery was founded as Murphy's Brewery originally by Kevin Murphy back in 1997 on University Avenue in Charlottetown, which is the provincial capital of Prince Edward Island. But the beer soon became quite popular and so in 2000 they had to move production to a 19th century building in downtown Charlottetown. And this brewery was then given the name Gahan House Brewery after the original owner, who was actually a prominent merchant. And it gave the brewery a kind of permanent home on Sydney Street as well, which in Sydney Street, of course, is what this particular beer in their range is named after. In July of 2008 though the Gahan Brewery opened another location on Walker Drive in the city and they began to bottle their beers there. Over the years the brewery continued to grow in popularity and this led Kevin Murphy to form a partnership with another local entrepreneur called Jeff Squires and together they formed Prince Edward Island Brewing Company in early 2012. Immediately they began to build a new brewery on Kensington Road which would later open in May of 2013 and the brewery produced the Gahan beers, the After Hours beers and also the beach chair lager there as well. So as part of this kind of Prince Edward Island Brewing Company, parent company if you like, they've got a whole host of uh, different things actually being brewed there, which is pretty cool actually. I think in total on Prince Edward Island there's about seven craft breweries at the moment, but I think it's around five or so of them have actually bottled their beers and can sell them from what Alicia was telling me. So it's, it's an interesting time. It's still very, very small there. The population of Canada, of course, for such a large country, I think it's only around 35 million or something like that and it's the second largest country in the world of course I'm sure the majority like 90% of the population of Canada live within 100 kilometers of the, the American border and um, so you know a huge huge country but not all that many people living in it considering the size but PEI is one of the smaller provinces and I think it's only a couple of million people actually uh, live in there as well. But yeah, interesting company this one. It is always cool to try different beers from different places. And uh, the other beers that I've tried from uh, from PEI so far have been good. So hopefully this is another one that follows in the same light. But yeah, that's all you really need to know about PEI Brewing and the Gahan beers just now. If you want to learn a little bit more, check out the brewery website in the description below. You can check out my review of the 1772 IPA as well. And uh, yeah, as I say, hopefully in the future we can return to these guys again but yeah let's get on to the actual tasting of this beer itself then so as I mentioned to you at the start of the video this one is a 5.2% oatmeal stout Sydney Street stout um, and it's nicely presented you know it's quite similar in artwork style to the 1772 although obviously that beer was in a can but yeah nicely presented beer this one it says a smooth medium body stout roasty with a hint of sweetness and it says the Gahan handcrafted ales are brewed on the old fashioned way uh, using all natural ingredients, malted barley, hops, water and yeast with no additives or preservatives. So yeah, they've also got the Gahan on the... Um 
bottle cap on this one, which you can see there if the camera will focus, which it has. But um, yeah, a nicely presented beer, this one, like I said, there's the address for the Gahan Brew and the PEI Brewing Company on the side there. You can have a look at that. But yeah, without further ado then, let's get this guy out and we'll get on with the tasting then. Very curious to see what kind of sub-style stout this beer actually is. I'm thinking it might be very close to some of the old uh, English stouts. And when you open this beer up, you get a nice hint of chocolate coming out of this one and a little bit of roasty character. So, yeah. Look at that. Yeah, and I guess at around the 5.2%, it's a little bit heavier than some of these English traditional stouts. The stout, of course, is um, a style that originates from England, from English brewing, of course. Um, of course, I guess some people would associate it with Ireland as well, given Guinness and things like that. So this one is a little bit heavier than uh, than the English ones. Most of the English beers will be around sort of 4% uh, ABV. But yeah, it looks pretty much as you would expect from a stout. If I hold this up to the light, it's got a nice little bit of a dark sort of chest nutty edge to it, one or two big bubbles sticking towards the side of the glass and a few little ones heading up towards the bottom of that head there but you know overall it looks pretty nice, there's a solid half finger of a frothy, I would say quite dark tan head on this one, it's, it's really quite a dark head on this and as I say a few little bubbles just going up towards the bottom of that head there but let's take a closer look at the aroma then and just see how we get on with this beer. Ooh, yeah, so with this one when you sugar it up a little bit, you start to get a little bit of an almost kind of brown bready note out of the beer. Definitely some roasted black malts in there, you would expect that from this style right enough. Chocolate of course as well. It's um, The chocolate in this one, it does have a kind of high cocoa note about it, you know, sort of the 70-80% kind of mark in terms of cocoa. Uh, cocoa What's the thing I'm looking for? Like it's got the same kind of smell as 80% cocoa chocolate, I would say, somewhere around that kind of range. It's got that nice darkness to it, but it's also got a little bit of the kind of red fruit kind of thing going on in it. But yeah, definitely a hint of brown sugar in there as well. I would say it's kind of caramelly, and it's quite a sweet caramel that's coming out of, coming out of it. But at the same time, there's a little touch of a toasty note there. It's not quite a well-fired brown sugar in this beer. It is just a nice little sort of toasty element to this one. But yeah, brown sugars, like I said, a bit of brown bread, nice bit of chocolate, a little bit of a roasted black malt backbone, chocolate, brown sugars. A little bit of an earthy hop to this beer as well, I would say, definitely a little bit of that. Maybe a little touch of uh, grassiness as well, and you can pick out some red fruity esters. Come on, come on. I thought my camera was going to go off there, it was blinking at me. But yeah. Nice little bit of a kind of red fruity ester to this one. I think it's kind of figgy. Yeah, figgy, sort of pruny, something like that. Maybe a little bit of a kind of candied red fruit. As I always say, it reminds me of the little heart-shaped sweets you get in the uh, in the Harry Bo Star mix, of course. So as I always say, just take a little bit of time and enjoy the aroma of the beer before you get stuck in. In terms of a stout, this one is quite sweet to me. I mean, the oatmeal that is giving it the sort of bready aroma that I was talking about, you really can smell a bit of that nice kind of smoothness in there. When you get an oatmeal stout, the beers always tend to have a really lovely smoothness to them. So just pay attention to that with this one. I think it works out really, really nicely. Yeah, just take a little bit of time and enjoy that aroma for yourself. But let's have a taste of this beer then. This one is the Sydney Street Stout from Ga from the Gahan Beer Range, part of the Prince Edward Island Brewing Company over in PEI in Canada. Let's get stuck into this one. Slanja, school. Yeah. That's a really nice beer. It's interesting. It comes in very smooth and almost quite sweet, actually. Then it just kind of, then, you know, in the aftertaste, the first impression is in the aftertaste, you really start to get a little bit more of the, the kind of roasty elements out of this beer, which is lovely. I, I like how everything's kind of coming together in this one. Yeah. If you do get the chance to try this beer, have a go at it. I mean, it's really just, it's its a nice, easy drinking stout. There's no, it, it's, it's, 
everything just goes together in it very, very well. I do like this one, so you know, a big thank you to Alicia for this. This is a really nice kind of low ABV stout, I would say. It's really interesting. Yeah, so as I said, with this beer, let's try and break it down a little bit more. You've got this roasted kind of black malt backbone to the beer. And that's kind of forming the linchpin of it. On top of that, the oatmeal kind of qualities are just smoothing it out. You can feel that nice, almost bready base to the beer. And on top of that, you start to get the chocolate sweetness right in the middle of your palate. You get the brown sugars as well. You get that nice kind of sweet caramel in there. There is a little bit of a kind of toasted element to it and as you come further out from the centre of your palate you get an almost kind of um, digestive biscuit sort of note to this one. Yeah. I like how everything is going together in this. You've got, as I say, that on top of that bready base, the nice chocolate, you know, it's a little bit of a, the, the kind of caramelly note in the middle and some biscuit. Everything in this beer, it fits together very, very well. It's one of these beers, as I say, that's it's not doing anything surprising with the style, but it's, um, you know, it just does everything really quite well. I think that's a good way to kind of summarise this one. It's Somewhere in the middle, it's got a little bit of the sweetness you'd expect of the American stout type, but then at the same time, it's got a little bit of the, the kind of more roasted, um, almost real ale qualities that you'd expect of the English one. It kind of finds its ground somewhere in the middle of that, and that's what I like about this one. It's got a little bit of tradition, and it's got a little bit of the kind of new world sort of thing about it. Yeah. I like, uh, yeah, I like what's going on with this one. Have a try this for yourself and see what you think. In terms of the hoppy side of the beer then, back corners of the palate you've got a nice little bit of earthiness as you come further forward along the sides of the tongue. It just smooths out a little bit more. Maybe a little tiny touch of floral quality in the front corners of the palate, a little bit grassy around the front curve of the tongue. And then behind the front curve of the palate of course, that's where you get the nice sort of oily bubble that comes out of this beer where you get the red kind of, or the juicy fruity esters and that's really nice for this one. So for me with this beer, yeah, the fruity notes to this one, it's got a little bit of a uh, so it has got a little touch of a raisiny sharpness to it, but at the same time there's that kind of smoother, juicy, figgy quality. And as you go further into the aftertaste, it's a little bit of a, it's a little bit of a kind of, what's the word I'm looking for? A little bit of a kind of candied red fruit. Yes, yeah, so it's got a little bit of a kind of candied strawberry note to it. This one, um, but as I say, it starts off. It's quite. Sh it's got a little touch of sharpness to it. This one, and I'm just. Wondering, does it say how long this beer has been in the bottle? Um, no, it doesn't actually. It doesn't say it doesn't have a bottling date on it as far as I can see. Um, but yet, yeah, sometimes the the esters can become a little bit sharper if it's been in the bottle for a little bit of time. But I think this one is actually okay. I think it's been. I don't think there's sort of oxidation going on with this beer really, because it would be a lot sharper than it is if um, if there had been some oxidation going on. But overall, it is a really quite nice beer, this one. It's, as I say, it kind of finds its niche somewhere between the traditional English side of things and it's got a little bit of that kind of new world quality to it as well. But overall, a very, very solid stout and I'm glad that I was able to review this one for you. In terms of the mouthfeel then, mid-bodied, carbonation is very smooth. Um, it has got a little touch of a creaminess to the mouthfeel, this one, that, and that's, it's got that, a big smoothness to it, and I think that's due to the oatmeal in the beer. A little bit of sweetness in there as well, and a little bit of a roasted kind of uh, black malt backbone too. But overall, a really, really nice beer, this one, and I'm glad that um, I was able to try it. I think, um, nice little bit of hoppy bitterness, good balance in the malt base between the, the sweetness and the roastiness there as well, which is what you'd expect from the style, and a little touch of uh, a juicy, fruity quality uh, also. But yeah, nice beer, this one. It's definitely something a little bit different, and I like that, how it takes a bit of the tradition, and it takes a little bit of the kind of new world um, sort of beer take on it as well. So yeah, thumbs up to uh, to 
to Prince Edward Island Brewing Company and the Gahan Beers for this. They've done a nice job of this and I'll be very curious to try some of their uh, their other things as well. I think they've got an Irish red and stuff like that too. So we'll see what comes in the future. Hopefully I can review some more of these, some more beers from these guys at some point fairly soon. But yeah, let's leave it at that for this one. So once again, thank you for watching my beer reviews. Until the next time, please like, subscribe, share, all the usual YouTube stuff. Let me know your own thoughts on this beer in the comment section. But let me know what your favourite beers are. From um, from Prince Edward Island Brewing Company and the Gahan Beers, a belated um, Canadian Thanksgiving to you all as well. My colleagues told me that on the eighth, which is today when I'm filming this review, this is Canadian Thanksgiving. But you'll see this review on the ninth, so a belated Canadian Thanksgiving to you all. Thanks again for watching my beer reviews, and I will catch you guys very soon. This was the Sydney Street Stout from uh, Prince Edward Island Brewing Company, part of their Gahan Beer Series range. Make sure you check out my social media. Let me know your own thoughts on this beer in the comment section below, and let me know where your favourite beers are from these guys too. Until the next time, slander just now and I will catch you guys very soon. A huge thank you to Alicia for making this review possible. Skull.